Hi, I'm Colin from Time Valley Motorhomes and today I'll be showing you round the handover on the Auto Sleeper New Evo. So coming down the driver's side of the vehicle, if you open the door and look on the dashboard down beside the driver, you will have your gas level indicator. This will work when the engine is switched on and will indicate the gas on board, which I'll show you when I do the cab. Coming further down the vehicle, so you've got your fresh water drain off. So if you've taken on any contaminated water, want to winterize the vehicle or simply want to drain it all down, you just open up and this is just fresh water and you'd normally drive over a grid on the way out of a site to empty your fresh water and then you can put your cover on to cover the bottom of the tap, which is the same on the waist, which I'll show you the waist at the back of the vehicle in a second. So all Auto Sleep Render Weevils are fitted with a gas it system, which is auto gas LPG. It means you can go and fill it up on a standard um, filling station forecourt instead of having a bottle. It's an underslung 25 litre tank. So it's a brass being it fitting and you put the filler cap on, turn it, lift the lever and then you press the button and fill it until simply it won't fill no more. So I've just filled this now this morning and it took about 14 pound to fill from empty. Coming further down the vehicle, so should you not be able to get hose pipe access to the vehicle, so a hose pipe to the vehicle, you can fill from bringing water to the vehicle. So if you bring it in an aqua roller bucket, you can get a wheel submersible pump, which you'll probably never use, but you might. And put it into here you'd have to press the tank fill on the control panel which I'll show you from inside and this will start sucking the water from the bucket or aqua roll into the main holding tank of the vehicle and then underneath here is your max view external TV points so should you be on a super size pitch and um, a super site and your aerial isn't picking up a signal if you get some quarks lead and connect your van to their site which is which is normally on the post, which their coax lead, and you can, can connect up and use their aerial instead of yours to get a better TV signal. You've got your vent for your Truma heating, so just make sure this is left obstruction free, and it just allows the exhaust from the heater and the water heater out. And next to it, you've got your hookup point. So you get your hookup lead, lift the flap, push it on, Oh, we took the vehicle up first and then the site as we wouldn't want you get an electric shock and the unhook press the blue lever down and pull the hookup lead out and then you do have your so this is your cassette and this is your filler so this is your reservoir for your flush so this is where you would put your pink liquid and dilute it with some water so you would open it up and you would put your pink liquid in and then fill the rest up with water and then as soon as you push the flush you'll be able to get the nice pink centered round the bowl and flush the toilet as it's fed out here and not the main tank like other manufacturers. And then underneath you've got your cassette. So to work your cassette, there's a small lever here, the yellow lever. Make sure the blade on the bottom of the toilet bowl is closed. If it's open, you'll not get the cassette out. It simply won't move. Lift it up, pull it out, take the cap off, press the button, it allows a consistent flow and allows you to tip the cassette out and then once you have tipped the cassette out if you put some water in give it a slosh around and empty and then empty the cassette again so it's clean and then you can use this cap so if you're using the liquid form a cap full straight into here and then it's ready to go back in the vehicle if you're using the tablets which are the green or blue sachets you put a pint of fresh water in back into the vehicle and then drop one straight down the toilet and that will break up into the liquid and you only need one sachet each time you do the toilet or one cap full of liquid and below so you waste your fresh water is at the front this is your waste so this is any water you've put down the sink, so any um, dishes water, shower water, hand basin water, any tea, coffee, whatever you've put down the... So again, you drive over a grid on the way out of the site and open it, and this will drain off any waste water. And in the winter, it's very important that you winterise the vehicle by draining the fresh, the waste, and open the boiler, which I'll show you from inside. Coming round the back of the vehicle, You've got your tow bar with 7-pin electrics at the bottom. 
and then you do have your high level brake light and reversing camera and on the passenger side of the vehicle you've got your awning and your LED awning light above the door the electric step which switch is here and you can bring it in or push it out but that will automatically come in when the engine is started and then once the engine's knocked off you'll be able to put the step back out and then with one of the round headed keys you'll be able to open the water and again hose pipe into there until it overflows or you can check on board how much water you do have on board so it'll go 25 50 75 and 100 litres of water carry your hose pipe with some hose pipe fittings because most campsites are just brass taps so you will need the hose lock and the um, brass connector and then you do have your external gas point so if you are using a, a kadak or external barbecue instead of carrying another bottle to power that you can get a a gas spigot and some hosing to connect your barbecue to the vehicle and you can turn the gas on to run the Kadak or external gas barbecue. And next week you do have a external 3 pin 240 socket so this is great if you want power in the oven for radio, telly or other appliances. And again this will open with one of the round headed keys all your lockers do. You'll be able to open it like so. Push the buttons in, and in here you do have your some storage, your vents for win your winter vents for your fridge, and your on and winding handle, which I'll show you on in a second. And below, if you use the West Alloy square key, you can open the locker below, and this is a great place to put your cooker bleed leveling ramps or anything wet in here as it's lined and then you can use at the front you use your ignition key which is your main key or should, should I say Peugeot key for your diesel at the passenger door and in there you'd fill with your diesel and below because this is a it's got add blue because this is a Euro 6 compliant engine it cleans the exhaust out at a certain temperature to stop any carbon buildup and this is a 20 litre tank and it will indicate in between the temperature and fuel gauge when it needs it be a little exhaust light top it up as soon as it comes on as it'll give you a mileage countdown if it gets too low it'll go into limp mode and if it goes completely out of add blue the engine simply won't stop so just do top it up as soon as it comes on it saves you all the headaches of getting the vehicle fixed once you have not topped it up Tire pressure, so 5 bar on the front, 5.5 bar on the back, which is 72.3 psi on the front and 79.5 psi on the rear. And then above you've got your weight, so it's 3.5 ton gross vehicle weight. If you were to tow anything with the tow bar, you can tow up to a train weight, which is the vehicle, and whatever you tow in can't exceed 5.1 ton. Underneath the passenger seat, you've got your tool kit, so this has got a jack nib bracing, a tow knife, and a screwdriver. And then if you lift the mat up, underneath this compartment here is where you'll gain access to your engine battery should you ever have to put a charger on or take the engine battery out to replenish the battery. Your engine bonnet release is here on the side of the passenger dashboard. And then I'll quickly show you underneath the bonnet. So you have got your paint coat here and if you were to give a jump start this is where you'd earth off and then if you just lift this cover up by using the key this is where where your red positive clip would go onto that contact there and then you've got your oil filler and oil dipstick and then you've got your various liquids so you've got your brake fluid your coolant this lifts off and gives access to your coolant and your power steering fluid and then also you do have your screen wash for your washer jets. So above the door you do have your tank heater for your waste tank. So if you're in the colder climates or it is cold and you think the water may freeze outside, put this on and this will allow current through the water to stop the water from freezing in the plastic underslung waste tank. And then below you do have your control panel. So if you turn on here, this is your master switch. This will either give you 240 volt if you're hooked up or 12 volt if you're not. And below you've got your pump. You must use your pump 
to have your taps so you must put your pump on to use your taps should i say this will use your shower tap your kitchen tap and your hand basin tap and then next week you've got orcs which is your auxiliary light which is your awning light above the door then if you scroll through here you've got your leisure battery reading your vehicle battery reading your main supplies on board you've got your fresh water reading and your wastewater reading your external temperature your current battery current coming off the battery and then should you want to fill from an aqua roll you go to water tank fill and then you press the middle button to press on and it will send power to that supply and it makes it start sucking the water and then you can set your clock you can set an alarm which this will go off at the time so should you want to catch a ferry you can set this to wake you up and then you can set event timers and then this switch here will transfer the power from the vehicle battery to the engine battery but i wouldn't use this because you always want to use the leisure battery to run the motor home if you put this on it will use the engine battery and there is good chance it will drain the engine battery so much that you can't start the engine and that's not something you want on your holiday you've got your light switches here and then you do have your switch below for your electric step coming into the kitchen area you've got three gas rings and one electric which is indicated by the light here that it's on only on 240 volt when you're hooked up that one will work and then below you do have your grill so take your grill pan out when you're traveling as this can make some noise when you're on the road and then below that you do have your oven same with your oven shelf as well and below your oven you've got this little glass panel so if you push the middle good storage for your pots and pans with all the cupboards on the auto sleeper if you push the button in and then pull forward you'll be able to open the cupboard or the drawer and located in the bottom is a safe with the key so take the key out and keep that in a safe place and to lock the door manually if you did you can just push this catch in but if you just push the button on the dash which i'll show you in a second it should lock all the doors coming round to your side board unit next to you your door with all your glasses in you've got your microwave and this will only work on 240 volt and there's the fused spur there so you must have that switch on for the microwave to work and then it is an 800 watt microwave above you've got your rack for your plates you've got your glasses and then below you do have your fed for fridge so if you press to turn on here this is an automatic selection fridge which it was why the a is on and it's gone to hook up because we're hooked up at the moment so a hook up if i was to take the hook up out now it would go to gas if i was then to start the engine it would go to the battery the battery is not your leisure battery because your leisure battery could not handle um the, the voltage to power the fridge it is when the engine is running it is to keep the temperature of the fridge the same when departing so the idea here is if you're lucky enough to keep this at home or at a, a storage yard with hook up hook the vehicle up a day or two before put your shopping in allow it to get nice and chilled and then once you start ready to drive off the day after the shopping will be nice and fresh if it's on automatic it will automatically go to battery or you can manually override put on the battery there which it's failed and gone to red because the engine is stationary at the moment and this will keep the shopping nice and fresh no matter how long you travel or you can manually put on a gas which will self ignite and then this is just your temperature also part of winterizing if you clean your fridge out leave nothing in and then if you just lift the catch up here and lift this little toggle out and put this into here this will stop the fridge door from shutting once it's been cleaned out and allow air ventilation in and out the fridge and then this shows your water running on the hot side which is which the water is very hot as i've had the boiler run test and then you've got your cold side as well the water. And open the skylight above the kitchen if you just 
push the toggle on its side and then push the window up push it all the way up or halfway and then make sure when you are traveling all your windows and skylights are shut and you do have a fly screen and a blackout blind on all skylights and windows so now in your washroom now operate your fed for toilet so like i was saying about the slide must be closed this is the slide which is also called the blade or the trap door call it whatever you want but this closes off like it is now so this is closed so this will allow the cassette to come out when you're using it always make sure it's open use the toilet and then you can flush it on the back by the blue button which flushes the toilet which is the big blue button on the back and then once you finish using the toilet if you simply should close the cassette you will then be able to get the cassette out if you need to empty it that's your big flush button here the blue button here and then this will go red and indicate that the cassette is full and needs emptying above your lights in here are all touch so touch them there's no switch they're individually switched you've got your toiletry cabinet you've got your toilet roll holder and then also when you're winterizing the vehicle if you leave all the mixer taps open in the middle position it will allow any water that's left in the pipe to drain out and not freeze and if you take the shower head off this allows this hose to not loop and any water getting trapped in there and if you lie in the shower tray with the shower head off it allows any water in the bends to just basically drain away and then you can pull this round to have the shower the shower area and put the screen across for when you're having a shower to stop the toilet and toilet paper getting wet in your wardrobe area You'll find your freestanding table which simply st has, um, pulls up it's basically like an ironing board how to put up you'll find your top and your leg for your boom arm little table to go in the front beside the two passen passenger and driver seat at the front there and also in here you'll have your gas taps to isolate your various gas appliances but these are mainly for when the vehicle is habitation serviced You'll find your water heater switch which must be on to heat the water on electric so just leave that on and forget about it, it'll only work on electric. If that was to be knocked off that's why your control panel may not work. And you've got your charger unit which has got your MCBs and RCDs in on 240 when. So if you've kettle or hairdryer trips the van try here before you try your site. And you've got your various 12 volt fuses so it would be a good idea to carry some spare blade fuses they're just standard blade fuses so if one of these does blow you can replenish the fuse and check that you don't have an issue you also have your tv booster on here which you can use this small little wheel to boost or weaken the signal and should you be struggling to get a signal you can loosen it off push the aerial up and use the black collar to direct the aerial but when traveling must be pulled firmly into the van and securely fastened in so this is how to operate your truma digital control panel which powers your hot water and your heating system so once you've turned it on by pressing holding you'll get this screen so if you press ok to enter you've got a van with a thermometer in this is the temperature of the vehicle you've got all the way off or you've got up to 30 degrees once you're happy with the temperature if you just press the wheel and press enter this saves that to 18 degrees of heating the vehicle next you've got the water so you've got off so if you've got no water in don't try and heat water You've got eco, you've got hot, or you've got boost. Boost will prioritize your hot water to your heating. So for this, we'll just say hot and press OK, and that's preset the water to heating at hot. So your eco would be 50 degrees and your hot would be 70 degrees. And then moving further along, you've got your what source you want to run off. So you've got gas if you're wild camping and you weren't hooked up. We've got a mixture of one kilowatt in gas. We've got a mixture of two kilowatts in gas. If you wanted hot water or heating quicker in the winter, you might use this for 20 minutes and then you would allow the electric to carry it. Should you be hooked up and have gas on board, you could use both. Or you can use electric on one kilowatt or electric and two kilowatts. If you've paid your site fees, you'll use electric on two kilowatts. In this country, you may be asked to use a lower voltage on smaller CL sites or abroad. But for this, we'll just say electric on two. And then you've got the fan. So you've got Eco, which takes a smaller 
feed from the 12 volt battery all you've got high which will blow the air around the vehicle so for this we'll just say hi and below you've got a timer so you can time the heating to come on and off you've got a clock so you can set the time on the display panel and should you get a warning triangle here you can go to the settings also you can change the temperature and the brightness in here of what it's displayed in so it's always displayed in degrees we can change the brightness of the panel 24 or 12 volt hourly clock the language or you can go to reset press and hold and reset the boiler and to turn off you would just press and hold until it's set off so underneath the drivers behind the driver's seat this is the long bench seat that i am under at the moment you've got your leisure battery in the box here with the with the fuses here you've got your winter drain down tap this is very important so when leaving the vehicle you must drain the vehicle down and to do so you'd open your waste you'd open your fresh outside and then you'd open this this is a frost control so once it gets to three degrees it should automatically drop but if you just turn the diamond the button will pop out on the on the back and you hear the water which will automatically be draining out underneath the vehicle to then and the and then to stop it if you just turn it the button pops in here and then pop the button in then the boiler will hold water but in the winter you'd always want the boiler to be drained down also underneath here you have your fresh water tank heater so very similar to your waste, your waste one above the door this will stop the water in the fresh from freezing and then make the front lounge into a large bed simply lift up and slide the lats in to meet in the middle so you'd slide them out like so and then you would use your backrests into the middle to fill the space like this but also if you turn them upside down you want the upside you want you want the back of the cushion and also turn your base cushions the other way around to the flat side then you can put a fitted sheet on and it's far more comfier to sleep on than having the bull nose and the little pins from the cushions in your back also have in the lounge a tele bracket and your tv points so you've got two 240 sockets when hooked up a 12 volt a usb and a tv connection there and to open your windows what you'll need to do is push and lift the arms out push it out once it's out you'll have to push it all the way out to bring it in and then on all skylights and windows you do have a lockout blind and a fly screen which just connect together and you would just pinch to and to open the big skylight above the lounge you'd wind it to open it and this will open the skylight and you've got a blackout blind and fly screen on there as well obviously when you're traveling do make sure these are closed like so so this, your two passenger and driver's front cab seats are swivel seats so if you just push this red button down you'll then be able to turn the seat if the seat got stuck on the door card or the pillow you just pull it forward and then you'll be able to make your lounge bigger and create a bigger space with the two captain seats facing the rear so now in the cab so the handbrake is down the right hand side you've got your remis cab lines on the window which is pinch and slide along and the same on the windscreen so if you just pinch them slide them into the middle they are just magnetic so it's just a magnetic strip that they connect on so put a elastic band or bobble around here if it's going to be a blustery night you've got your electric windows and your electric mirrors which does the top and bottom so you've got two on each side which you just use the joystick to correct the mirror you want to and you'll also see that the gas indicator is full as the engine is running and that's how you check your level that's in your gas tank you've got your headlight adjustment and your fog lights you've got your trip computer on the end of your wiper stalk which will go through here tell you your range tell you your distance tell you your average consumption your instant consumption your average speed and your traveling times 
you've got your steering wheel controls so you've got your phone controls answer and decline and this will scroll through your radio channels or contacts or tracks mute and volume lights and your indicators and then you do have your cruise control at the top and your speed limit at the bottom you've got a six speed manual gearbox and when you're going to reverse the dash reversing camera does come on your Garmin sat nav and then you would have your Garmin sat nav so to so you can go where to and you can put your address into don't put your house address into the sat nav put the street because if your motorhome stolen they know where you live so you can go to where to view a map and then you can set your destinations by go by going to where to and putting your address in here or you can just put petrol stations and it'll find the nearest petrol station in your area and this has set with your it's got all the club sites in as you can see so it can find as many sites as it can please drive to highlighted near route near us we've got DAB FM and AM radio which you can switch between by pressing radio so on DAB digital radio once you found your channel you press 1 to 6 to save that's on DAB FM and DM you've got media which could be a memory stick full of your favorite CDs or an iPhone or iPod or even a 3.5 milli auxiliary jack you've got phone so connect your phone press phone connect phone press enter and you want to find my car and make sure the pins match it will then ask you if you want to pair your contacts press yes underneath you've got your temperature and you've got your fan speed you must be on at least one or more for the air con to work which is your middle button here you've got your distribution and you've got your circulation so either recirculating air within the vehicle or bringing fresh air in ASR is another word for traction control off and you can turn that should you be stuck on a wet field hazards this locks the door and also will lock your habitation door as it's center locking on this model and you've got your heated mirrors you've got a 12 volt plug with cigarette lighter there and you've got your lead for your Garmin sat nav small ashtray which you can use as a money pot or pen pot and then you do have a box at the top which is heated and cooled by the air conditioning so if it's heated or cooled you could put all your little bits and pieces in there for the road and then you do have a glove box we would like to thank you for choosing time valley motorhomes and we would like we hope you enjoy your motorhome